Today we're releasing uh, nine black-footed ferrets in the Wolf Creek management area in Colorado. Uh, we have these pens near Browns Park to precondition our black-footed ferrets. All the animals we get for release are captive raised animals that come from zoos or from a uh, Fish and Wildlife Service breeding facility. And they're basically raised in cages and pens and doors. And to increase their survival in the wild, we sort of use this as a halfway house, if you will, a place to precondition them, uh, get them used to living in burrows and, and eating prairie dogs. Ferrets are in the preconditioning pens for about 30 to 40 days. Um, you know, the, the typical survival rate for any species of wildlife raised in captivity is generally pretty low. Um, what we've observed in Colorado is uh, in our best habitat, about 30 to 40 percent of the ferrets we release will survive uh, to one year. The typical lifespan of a black-footed ferret in the wild is uh, probably two to three years. Right now there's only one site where black-footed ferrets have been released in Colorado, and that's the Wolf Creek area. There are two sites in Utah that ferrets are currently being reintroduced at, uh, the Coyote Basin site and the Snake John Reef site. Snake John Reef site uh, occurs north of the Coyote Basin area. Uh, ferrets had been reintroduced in the Coyote Basin beginning in 1999. Uh, a couple of years ago, ferrets showed up at Snake John and it was assumed they came from Coyote Basin. No one's absolutely sure uh, what's happening this year. This will be the first supplemental release, so there have been no animals released in the Snake John before this year. Uh, it's assumed to be a very small founder population itself uh, because of the distance between uh, where those animals came from in Coyote Basin. So to increase that genetic diversity as well as supplement the population, we're using these captive animals to to release there. This is neat, it's great. Um, you know, the Colorado population is still pretty small and depends on these supplemental releases so far to this point. And uh, it's nice to go out there and, and release some and, and keep that population going until we can uh, get the natural reproduction high enough 